Our human story begins deep in the mists of time, around six million years ago. A branch of apes evolved, giving rise to the first species of the genus Homo. In this video, we will explore how these early humans underwent a remarkable transformation, trading the long arms of their tree-dwelling ancestors for stronger legs. We will also talk about how our ancestors, as they lost their ability to swing through the forest canopy, developed the capacity to stand upright and walk on two feet. But before we go any further, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up as a way to support this channel. With that said, let's keep things moving. As the millennia passed, these early humans continued to evolve. Their brains grew larger, enabling them to develop complex tools for hunting, harnessing fire, and constructing shelters. By the time Homo sapiens appeared some 300,000 years ago, we were not alone. At least six different human species walked the earth alongside us, each competing for survival in a challenging world. Among these ancient relatives, one stands out as particularly remarkable, Homo erectus, or upright man. This species was one of the most successful in human history, thriving for nearly two million years. Homo erectus ranged far and wide, leaving fossils across Africa, Asia, and even Europe. They were the first of our ancestors to closely resemble modern humans in body proportions, having fully adapted to life on two feet in open grasslands. Homo erectus were innovative tool makers, crafting hand axes, choppers, cleavers, and hammers from stone. They likely fashioned implements from perishable materials as well, such as wood, bark, and grass. These early humans were adept scavengers and hunters, with a diet that included both meat and plant resources. Perhaps most intriguingly, Homo erectus may have been the first to harness the power of fire, as evidenced by ash and burnt bone fragments found in ancient cave sediments. Our ancient cousins faced numerous challenges, from changing climates to competition with other species. The last known Homo erectus disappeared between 117,000 and 108,000 years ago in Java, likely due to shifting environmental conditions that replaced their preferred open woodlands with dense rainforests. Continuing our journey through human evolution, we turn our attention to Homo heidelbergensis, a species that thrived between 700,000 and 300,000 years ago. These robust humans were skilled hunters, targeting large prey such as rhinos, hippopotamuses, bears, horses, and deer. Their hunting prowess is evident in fossilized bones bearing marks of butchery suggesting they worked in cooperative groups to take down and process these formidable animals. Homo heidelbergensis crafted sophisticated tools, building upon the technology of their predecessors. They produced bifacial stone hand axes, cleavers, and carvers, primarily used for hunting and butchery. Perhaps most impressively, they learned to control fire, constructing hearths and fire altars. Evidence of this mastery over flame has been found at sites like Gesher, Benot Yaakov in Israel. The fate of Homo heidelbergensis remains somewhat mysterious, but it's believed that European populations evolved into Neanderthals, while African groups gave rise to our own species, Homo sapiens. Our story takes an unexpected turn with the discovery of Homo floresiensis, nicknamed the Hobbit, on the Indonesian island of Flores. These diminutive humans, standing just three, six inches tall, lived between 100,000 and 60,000 years ago. Despite their small stature and brain size, they were capable toolmakers and hunters, taking down prey as large as dwarf elephants called stegodons. The unique characteristics of Homo floresiensis may be the result of island dwarfism, an evolutionary process occurring in isolated populations with limited resources. Intriguingly, their presence on Flores suggests that their ancestors, likely Homo erectus, possessed seafaring technology to cross treacherous waters. In 2015, another remarkable species joined our family tree, Homo naledi. Discovered in the Rising Star cave system near Johannesburg, South Africa, these small hominids stood about four, nine inches tall with brains only a third the size of modern humans. Homo naledi was discovered in 2013 and formally announced to the world in 2015. The fossils of Homo naledi were found in an extremely difficult to access chamber of the cave system, requiring a team of slender researchers to squeeze through a narrow 12 meter long passage to reach them. 
This challenging location has led to intriguing theories about how the remains came to be there. Initially, Homo naledi was thought to be around 2 million years old, but subsequent dating placed the fossils at between 335,000 and 236,000 years old. This makes them contemporaries of early Homo sapiens, Homo heidelbergensis, and possibly late Homo erectus, complicating our understanding of human evolution. Homo naledi had a unique mosaic of primitive and more advanced features. While their brain size was small, around 465 or so, 610 cubic centimeters, comparable to Australopithecines, they had hands capable of precise manipulation and feet adapted for long-distance walking, similar to modern humans. The discovery of intentionally deposited bodies deep in the cave system has led some researchers to propose that Homo naledi may have practiced a form of ritualized body disposal previously thought to be unique to more advanced hominins. This hypothesis, however, remains controversial. Recent evidence published in 2023 suggests that Homo naledi may have created engravings on cave walls and potentially used fire within the cave system. If confirmed, this would be remarkable given their small brain size and could challenge our understanding of cognitive evolution. The Homo naledi fossils represent one of the largest collections of a single hominin species ever discovered, with over 1,500 fossils representing at least 15 individuals of various ages. Despite their small stature, Homo naledi individuals show evidence of climbing abilities with curved fingers and powerful shoulder joints. This suggests they may have retained some arboreal adaptations alongside their bipedal locomotion. The species shows a mix of dental features with relatively small teeth compared to earlier hominins, but larger than those of modern humans. This, along with their overall anatomy, suggests a varied diet that might have included both plant matter and meat. No discussion of our ancient relatives would be complete without mentioning the Neanderthals, Homo neanderthalensis. These robust humans inhabited Europe and Western Asia for over 200,000 years weathering some of the harshest climatic conditions ever known in these regions. Their physical adaptations, including barrel-shaped chests and shorter limbs, helped them survive in cold environments. Neanderthals were sophisticated toolmakers, creating implements for hunting, domestic use, and even artistic expression. They adorned themselves with pigments, feathers, and shells, and may have even created musical instruments. Evidence of burials suggests they engaged in symbolic and ritualistic behaviors. Their diet was varied, including large game animals and plant matter. They mastered fire, cooked their food, and potentially used medicinal plants. Neanderthals had larger brains than modern humans, with an average volume of about 1,600 cubic centimeters compared to our average of about 1,350 cubic centimeters. However, brain size doesn't necessarily correlate directly with intelligence, and the structure and neural connections are also important factors. Recent genetic studies have shown that Neanderthals interbred with Homo sapiens. As a result, many modern humans of non-African descent carry about 1 to 4% Neanderthal DNA in their genomes. This interbreeding has left a lasting impact on our species, influencing traits such as immune response, skin color, and even susceptibility to certain diseases. Neanderthals were skilled hunters, often targeting large prey like woolly mammoths, woolly rhinoceroses, and cave bears. They employed sophisticated hunting strategies, including ambush techniques and the use of terrain to their advantage. Evidence suggests that Neanderthals had a form of language and were capable of complex communication. The discovery of a Neanderthal hyoid bone, a bone in the throat that supports the tongue, similar to that of modern humans, supports this theory. Neanderthals showed signs of providing care for injured or elderly members of their groups. Fossil evidence indicates that some individuals survived severe injuries or lived with debilitating conditions, suggesting they received support from their community. Recent studies have challenged the notion that Neanderthals were less intelligent than Homo sapiens. They created complex tools, managed fire, constructed living spaces, and even created art. Cave paintings in Spain, dated to over 65,000 years ago, predate the arrival of modern humans in the region and are attributed to Neanderthals. The extinction of Neanderthals is still debated among scientists. While competition with Homo sapiens is one theory, 
other factors such as climate change, disease, or a combination of multiple factors may have contributed to their disappearance. Neanderthals adapted to their environment by developing physical characteristics suited to cold climates. These included a robust build, large nose to warm cold air before it entered the lungs, and shortened distal limb segments, arms and legs, to reduce heat loss. Recent research suggests that Neanderthals may have been more sophisticated in their cognitive abilities than previously thought. There's evidence that they used plant-based medicines, created specialized tools for specific tasks, and even fashioned jewelry from eagle talons. Continuing our exploration of our ancient human relatives, we turn to the enigmatic Denisovans. These archaic humans ranged across Asia from about 300,000 to 50,000 years ago, leaving behind a tantalizing trail of genetic evidence but few physical remains. The story of the Denisovans began in 2010 when scientists extracted DNA from a finger bone found in Denisova Cave in Siberia's Altai Mountains. This discovery revealed a previously unknown human species closely related to Neanderthals. The cave, periodically inhabited by both Denisovans and Neanderthals for over 150,000 years, has yielded fascinating insights into their lives and interactions. Genetic evidence suggests Denisovans had dark skin, eyes, and hair, with a robust build similar to Neanderthals, but with larger molars reminiscent of earlier human species. They were skilled tool makers, crafting sophisticated items such as stone bracelets, bone needles, and animal tooth pendants. One of the most intriguing aspects of Denisovan history is their interbreeding with other human species. Their DNA lives on in modern human populations, particularly in Melanesians, Aboriginal Australians, and Filipino Negritos, where it comprises up to 5% of their genomes. This widespread genetic legacy suggests Denisovans ranged across much of Asia and Oceania. The story of the Denisovans becomes even more intriguing when we consider their interactions with other human species. Evidence suggests significant interbreeding between Denisovans and Neanderthals. Remarkably, about 17% of the Denisovan genome from the Denisova cave shows signs of Neanderthal ancestry. This close relationship is further exemplified by the discovery of Denny, a first-generation hybrid with a Denisovan father and a Neanderthal mother, the only such hybrid ever found. But the genetic story doesn't end there. Approximately 4% of the Denisovan genome comes from an unknown archaic human species that diverged from modern humans over one million years ago. This fascinating B piece of evidence hints at an even more complex web of interactions between ancient human species than we previously imagined. The fate of the Denisovans, like many of our extinct relatives, remains a subject of debate. By around 30,000 years ago, they seem to have disappeared as a distinct species, though some evidence suggests they may have persisted in isolated pockets until as recently as 14,500 years ago. S several other theories attempt to explain their disappearance. Extensive interbreeding may have caused them to fade into the wider early human population. Competition with incoming Homo sapiens might have led to their extinction, either through direct conflict or resource competition. Homo sapiens may have introduced diseases to which Denisovans had no immunity, or changing climatic conditions could have played a crucial role in their demise. As we've explored the story of our ancient human relatives, we've discovered a variety of species that once lived on Earth. From the clever Homo erectus to the mysterious Denisovans, each played a part in our evolution. But this is just the beginning. The study of human evolution is always changing, with new finds and ideas that make us rethink what we know. And now we want to hear from you. Which ancient human species did you find most interesting? Do you have any questions about our extinct relatives that we didn't cover in the video? Share your thoughts, questions, or even your own ideas in the comments below. Your feedback helps us understand what topics you care about and builds a community of curious people who want to learn more about our past. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos about human evolution and prehistory. Until next time, keep exploring, Keep asking questions and stay curious about our amazing human story.